Carro. Hello my Capricorn friends, it's Kylie Halo. This is going to be what spirit wants you to know. I'm going to put that back. You're at a standstill. You're at a standstill. You feel like you're going nowhere, but in actuality it's absolutely for a divine purpose. Anyway, this is going to be what spirit wants you to know for April. I will pull, pull four piles and each one will be for one week of the month, okay? Let's find out what spirit wants my Capricorn friends to know as you move forward. Desert like conditions again, or still, I would say. Blessings are coming in. There's a need for some solitude so that you can think, maybe so that you can see the blessings and what's actually going on. This person is in the middle of a lake or a water, a body of water at night. There's like an oasis there. They could go in onto the oasis, but they're they're rowing a boat at night. It's like they can't see necessarily where they're going. They are led by the light of the moon. So there's some, been some sort of time of solitude, needing solitude, needing to find a place of calm and peace to be by yourself so that spirit can illuminate the way for you moving forward. Transformation is beautiful. Well, life is about to change for you, and perhaps that's why you need solitude, because there's there's a death and a rebirth about to happen. It's like you've been in a cocoon. It's like liquefied, you've been liquefied in the cocoon, and you're about to burst out as a butterfly. But there's a, the time in the cocoon first, which absolutely is can be painful, I'd imagine. This number 11 card with butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. You're coming into the brand new growth by the 11th of April, I would say. Rising from the ashes like a phoenix. That tells me you've been in some incredibly painful times and I'm so sorry you're going through that. That can't be easy exposed and revealed so things that you didn't know are going to come to light perhaps you may feel exposed and revealed or another feels exposed and revealed there's some truths that need to be spoken in order for your soul to feel calm and ease again or things you need to hear for another's to be spoken there's some sort of soul there's a stop up in your life because there's a point on your map that you need to make a decision. And the divine's not going to let you go any further until the decision is made. We have ample opportunity to make the decision. And we can stay in solitude as long as we want or whichever. But something in the third week around the 21st is coming to light for you. Interesting how it's all coming through even with the numbers. There's there's a truth even perhaps about yourself, about what you've dealt with in your soul in this life that perhaps you didn't actually see prior. Get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So perhaps you're coming into new levels of empathic ability. I would say that whoever gets this card is already an empath, already highly sensitive, already connected with nature. What you thought was happening has changed you and has torn down a whole situation in your life. What you thought was happening, that maybe you poo food aside, you're going to realize was absolutely the truth of what was happening. Because you felt it. You knew it. You already knew it. You felt it. You sensed it. You were not wrong.
Tell me about this solitude card, please. Three of Pentacles. Focusing on something, listening to people help you. I think you're going into solitude to see if something was going on behind your back. Contracts, things being written, things being said, things put into motion without your knowledge. But there's some sort of light shining that spirit is helping you see the truth of the circumstance and situation. Tell me about this transformation. I don't want cards falling out. I will pull them. Thank you. Tell me about transformation. Butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. Someone might be going back to school, learning new skills, putting them into action to transform your life. Six of Cups, healing the inner child. Something you believed as a child, you're going to be walking away from. It's like a childhood beliefs, romanticizing the past, everything was great, going into solitude, realizing everything wasn't so great. No. But in some sort of way, and acknowledging that it wasn't so great, acknowledging the things that were wrong, help heal your inner child. This could also be about a soulmate. Rising from the ashes with a soulmate. Exposed and revealed. Ooh. Someone's going to be grieving about the truth that is exposed and revealed or a truth that is spoken. Focusing on the negative as opposed to looking at the positive. I think you're, you're having a hard time dealing with someone's negativity. I also wonder if sometimes their negativity wears off on you or your negativity wears off on them. Take it as it resonates. I mean, none of us are perfect. Tell me about getting grounded. There's some sort of... I just got pain in my head. Someone's going through a third eye awakening, crown chakra awakening. You may end up with a headache is what I call the halo headache, like a halo on an angel that sits around your head. It's like that's the point at where your head hurts. And it, it doesn't necessarily even be pain. It's, it's like a stress. It just feels like stressed. Your shoulders get tight and tense. Your neck starts to hurt. Your, it's stress. It's due to what needs to be exposed and revealed. Whether it's out in the 3D world or in the spiritual self. Getting grounded. It's going to take great strength. I'm um, hearing someone say, I thought I did better than I actually did. Seven of Pentacles, temporary pause in action, seize well planted and necessary where you're looking at where to invest your time next, taming the inner beast of fear to head into the new. A gift of time has been given to you, money or effort. There could be a soulmate or a situation of someone you care about very much that is transforming to the other side. And this very well may leave you feeling exposed and revealed. It's kind of like the matriarch of the family or the patriarch of the family all of a sudden. And it's like, I don't know exactly how to move forward with this. That could also be the energy that's happening. And if someone is to pass away, you knew they were going to pass away already. There could be a financial opportunity you want to give to a Leo. There could be the moving in with such. Uh, yeah, Three of Pentacles. We have the Tower and the Ace of Cups in reverse. It came out reverse, so I'm going to leave it that way. There's a Tower moment and an opportunity, it seems, that, that it's going to go bust. It's like, a, it's like an all fallout thing when you find out what's happening going into solitude to see if your intuition is correct and it is there's something about it that it is it's going to bring a lot of tears it's going to bring a lot of sadness there's going to be a lot of crying it's going to be like a fall from grace what you thought what you what you wanted as opposed to what is Tell me about the Six of Cups. There's that Seven of Pentacles, looking at where you want to invest your time, money, or effort moving forward. 
making sure there's nothing you're missing. It's almost harvest time. You've done the work. You've planted the seeds. It's time to get a move on it. But you're still like, oh, I should just check and make sure. Yeah, time to get a move on it. The divine's going to move you, and they're going to move you quickly. And it's going to be beautiful because it's like the divine's lining everything up for you here. Tell me about this tower and Ace of Cups in reverse. Moving away from rough waters to calm waters. Mother and children moving away from a rough situation into a calm situation. It brings you great sorrow and sadness, whatever this is. Exposed and revealed. Five of Cups, tell me about this, please. Not seeing the positive in things. Can't see a Zeblania with these cards that have come out. Feeling defensive, the need to defend what you've created. Defend who you are. Defend how you've raised your children. Defend everything. Defend yourself in every situation. You're tired of having to stand up and be the one to defend. Exposed and revealed. I'm like, no, no, I'm going to, someone's going to fight for the truth to the death. They have the higher ground as well. Could be about someone's health. Time to fight for your health. Time to fight for balance in your life. Health related concerns due to stress. Someone could find out something that, uh, I just heard that, uh, something about remission. And someone needing to fight it again. I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys things that aren't the case about what I'm getting. I mean, we could sit here and say, transformation's beautiful. Look at this soulmate's coming in. It's been a seven-year gap. You're going to move forward real quick. She could have something to do with around a car. There's exposed and revealed, the five of cups. It's like they weren't happy about that, and it's all in the past, and now you're going to move forward to beauty. You better get grounded because the gorgeous is coming in. Maybe that's the case for some of all y'all, and maybe that's the case entirely. As I just look at the card I took, which is the sun card. Definitely could be dealing with children that is a Leo and get grounded because they may need you. They very well may need you and fast. Tell me about the sun card, please. For my Capricorn friends. Hangman mode. Not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. There's a lot of clarity about to come your way about things and there's something that makes you incredibly sad. It's time to get a move on it. Tower moment brings about the truth about what's been going on behind your back. Okay? There's contracts, there's situations, there's things going on that I don't know that you're, you're necessarily aware of. So keep that in mind as you move forward. I'm going to pull a postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, we are gathering our magic together to help you celebrate your new beginning. You're stepping into a new version of your life, getting to tell a new story as you create it. Doesn't it feel like spring when the urge to expand wells up inside you from a primal place? The form of what you are growing has yet to take shape, and it is exciting to experience this new and fresh beginning. It's normal to feel both push and push back when entering any kind of new relationship. It's okay to admit you really don't know what to expect. What you can know is it's time to dive in and allow that new version of life to take shape through you on behalf of your partner in life spirit. You have made it to a new level of awakening and contributing, and we are so excited to see where all of this will take you next. We are so proud of you. I love you guys. Blessings to you.